We're from Wellesley College. I'm Margaret. I'm Wendy. And I'm Michelle. And we created Where's Bo Peak, which is an interactive storytelling game for kids. And this is Touch Sheep. So we've hidden our mouse inside of the sheep. So now when you do normal sheep gestures, like looking right and looking left and sticking your head inside something, that transfers to gestures on the mouse. The goal of our game is to use the sheep to explore Bo Peep's world and look for Bo Peep in one of these hotspots. So now we'll take you through a demo of our game. Once upon a time, there was a group of sheep whose job it was to keep track of a girl called Little Bo Peep. One day, the sheep lost Bo Peep, and so they elected the bravest and smartest of all the sheep to go find her. The sheep set off from the sheep pen in search of adventure. So as the sheep, I might think that Bo Peep is hiding behind a tree. So I'll head over to the forest to look behind the trees. And once I get over there, I just need to look around the tree, so I look left or right. Unfortunately, Bo Peep was not concealed among the trees of the forest, so the sheep moved on to explore new places. Well, okay, so she wasn't in the forest. But maybe she's actually hiding in the cave. So I'll go over to the cave and look inside. Alas, the cave contained only bats, and so the sheep continued to the next obstacle. All right, well, so she's not in the cave either. Maybe she's been hiding at home the whole time. So I'll go check at her house by knocking on the door. Sorry, sweetie, Bo Peep is in here right now, but you could check in the garden. And the sheep resolved to go look in the garden to find Bo Peep. Well, okay, I guess I better go look in the garden to see if she's over there. There you are. I found you. And so the sheep found the girl and they all lived happily ever after. Or, that is, they all lived happily until the girl got lost once again. And that's how our game works. One of the main goals of our project was to inspire creativity and imagination. So one of the ways we did this was by using only audio output so the children can imagine what is going on in the game. And it can also inspire more eye contact and social awareness with each other. Another way we did this was by using kid-friendly materials. We used clay for the cave, we used normal rocks and hot glue for the well, and we used clay and just regular little leaves for the trees. So this could let kids allow, or kids could be allowed to make their own materials as well. I hope you enjoyed watching our demo. If you have any questions or feedback, um, email us at wheresbopeep at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.